folks. Welcome to the Wild West Crypto Show Daily Update brought to you by Carnomaly. Folks, every Friday on their Telegram, they give you the updates for the week, talking about development and other things that they're doing. Carnomaly is the future of how you're going to act with your transportation, so you might as well get in that game too. Brent, speaking of the games. Well, I'll tell you what, the games people play, you know, uh, Bitcoin is up 29.30 right now. Uh, that puts us at just a little bit below 1.6 trillion. So that's up 8.67% for Bitcoin. Overall markets are only up 5%. You know, what I love about the fact is, is that right now Bitcoin's everybody's having a real tussle trying to figure out where it's going to go. And you got the people that are still trying to hold by their by their uh, discussions of, hey, we're going to 350,000 by the end of the year and so on and so forth. And the reason that I kind of draw things out is I'm an old guy and, and I like to look at things with the perspective of time. And to me, that looks like the first leg up. And if you believe in the Elliott wave theory and, in your, and you back up and you look at it over years, we got two more waves to go. And what caused me, you know, a couple of weeks ago to say, hey, this penetration down to 3,200 is, is, I think, temporary. I think we're going to hold in this 35, 36, uh, 40 range, which so far we're doing. Yeah, yesterday or day before, we penetrated back to that 32. You like to go ahead and test it, which they've done. But this chart doesn't bother me in the least. But it's got a lot of people out there perplexed. And I just suggest that they just take a deep breath and, and relax. So let's look at the Dow. Dow's off 152. So that's down 0.44%. S&P's off 771. NDX is uh, up four. Uh, gold is down three bucks at 1888. But silver is up 14 cents. So uh, down 0.16 on gold, up 0.67 on gold. All right, crude's doing what I told them. I told them don't be getting much more above 70. <laughs> I told them get that stuff down. But here's what I like. Look at this here. The December 21 and the December 22 have diverged. The December 21 is only up 570, but guess what? The 22 is up 3345. So now we're starting to build some time value that people are saying, hey, you know what? I don't think a Bitcoin 20 is going to come, 20,000. Um, and in fact, by the end of December of next year, I'm more confident it's going to be a lot higher. And, and so even though the market's up handily today at 2866, that December 22 future is at 33.45. Ethereum's up 45. Uh, Cardano's up, uh, or excuse me, just down a smidge. Uh, Link is uh, up 66 cents, 68 cents on Polkadot. Uh, a smidge on XRP. Litecoin's up 8.60. That puts it at 169. And let's go look at that because, you know, there again, a lot of people are going to kind of poo-poo uh, what's going on. And if you look at that chart, for me, same thing. We've had a big, severe drop. We're going to have some backfilling that has to happen. It got a little ahead of itself. You know, that's good. It went way up there. John Kim got him a Lambo. That's good. But we're going to kind of go sideways for a while. And as long as we can rest on that hump there just above July, I'm, I'm very comfortable with Litecoin's long-term perspective. Uh, XLM's off a smidge. Theta is just up a smidge. Hex is up half a smidge. <laughs> Carnomaly is up uh, a tenth of a smidge. <laughs> and, and Doge, Dodge, Doji, Dodgy, or whatever you want to call it. Snoop Doggy. Uh, Snoop Doggy is up almost two cents. Hey, and, and I'll tell you, I'm going to give a shout out there to, uh, to uh, Hex Tex. He's, he's in Hex. He heard us oh, on yeah. the show and he was oh, talking yeah. to old Mike Imberg and he goes, I, they know each other. They're big buddies. Oh, do they really? Yeah. And so when Mike told him that he's working with a couple of Cowboys do Wild West Crypto show, and he goes, I'll listen to those guys. You know, so, Mike, Mike is, Mike has occupied all the right gutters. He knows everybody. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Hey, so listen to this. And, and, and I hand it to all these countries that are not the U S that are seeing where the future is going and they're embracing getting behind cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin because they know it's the future, especially while Biden's printing that money, baby. He's printing that money. <laughs> so listen to this. El Salvador is going to use their volcanoes <laughs> to mine Bitcoin, says President Nayib Bukli. It's, what's interesting about it is he says, listen, we're going to go and use clean, renewable, zero, the emissions that volcanoes oh, yeah. are already doing oh, yeah. and all the people crying about, well, Bitcoin uses too much energy. Let them go ahead and do that. We'll pick up where they left off. You know, the only the only way America would be more efficient than that is figure out how to take uh, cow flatulate and, you know, yeah, ignite yeah. it and burn it and mine Bitcoin with it. 
Brent fart miners. There we go. We, fart that's miners. what we need, folks. Oh, Brent right here. Yeah, that's give, me it. give me five. Give me five. Don't let me hang it. it. Okay. All right. There, so next week we'll talk about. It. We'll show you our fart miners. One eight hundred fart miners. We'll we'll have it up next week. <laughs> there you go. Hey, and if you need any reasons, any further reasons, especially you folks at Skew a little bit conservative, to not like Pocahontas Elizabeth Warren, here's one more. Okay. She jumps up there today, and I, I was disappointed to hear this. She's subcommittee chairman, chairwoman, uh, Elizabeth Warren for digital currencies and all that. Oh and God. she's calling on the lawmakers to take the problem head on. So now look at this. El Salvador is embracing it as most of the rest of the world. But by golly, those folks, oh, our yeah. legislators here in the They're going to save us. We need they saving. They are. They the are. The only problem is we need saving from them. Yeah, exactly. Why do they not see that? Come on, man. And uh, so anyway, she goes in there and she says it, it's used for nefarious activities. She obviously hadn't done her research. And, and I'm not saying they don't use it, but it's not used at the same ratio. Would you notice, how, you notice how quick the government found the money, the, the uh, extortion surprise, money for colonial? Surprise. I mean, bing, bong, and bang. And oh, but you got to watch that crypto because it's nefarious stuff. That's it. Her final uh, word on that was Congress and federal regulators can't continue to hide out hoping that cryptocurrency will go away. It's time we take it head on. You go. Elizabeth. Go girl. Yeah. Folks, we'll see you again here tomorrow on the Wildest Crypto Show. <laughs>